I want to find sine of 2x plus sine of 5x equals to 0, where x is between 0 and 2 pi. In order to solve this problem, I need to use the formula of sine alpha plus sine beta is equal to 2 times sine alpha plus beta all over 2 times cosine of alpha minus beta all over 2. Okay, here alpha will play the role of 2x and beta 5x. So it's 2 sine. I'm going to add the two angles, 2x plus 5x. That's going to give me 7x. And then I'm going to subtract the two angles, so 2x minus 5x. And now I just need to simplify this. Well, what I could do is I can remove this negative because cosine is an even function. If I have cosine of negative x, that's the same thing as cosine of x. So that's going to be 2 sine 7x over 2 times cosine 3x over 2. And that's going to equal 0. And that means that 2 sine 7x over 2 equals 0. Or cosine 3x over 2 is equal to 0. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So we'll have sine of 7x over 2 equal to 0. Or cosine 3x over 2 equals 0. So in general, sine is equal to 0 at 0 at pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. The coefficient here is 7 over 2. Okay, 7 over 2 is 3 and a half. That means we have to go around the circle three and a half times. Okay, so first time it's zero is zero. So we're going to set this equal to uh, seven x over two. So first angle is zero, then pi, then two pi. Okay, this is one time around the circle. We need to go three and a half times. Then it'll be three pi, four pi. Okay, now we're two times around the circle. Five pi, six pi. Okay, we're, si we're three times around the circle. So we need to go half more time around the circle. That's gonna be over here at seven pi. Okay, so then we're going to in order to solve for x, we need to multiply all of these angles by 2 over 7. Okay, so basically multiply 2 over 7 on both sides to get x by itself. Okay, that's going to be 0, 2 pi over 7, 4 pi over 7, 6 pi over 7, 8 pi over 7, uh, 10 pi over 7. 12 pi over 7, and 2 pi. Okay. So that is just for uh, this first factor. Now we have to consider when cosine 3x over 2 is equal to 0. Cosine is equal to 0 at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. The coefficient is 3 halves. That means it's 1 and a half. Right? So it's one and a half times around the circle. Okay, so the first time around the circle will be pi over 2. So actually I'm going to write it over here. So we have 3x over 2 equals, first time around the circle is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And then we're going half time around the circle. Half time around the circle is basically um, the first and second quadrant. So we go pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and we go up here again, and this is 5 pi over 2, and that's where we stop. And now we want to get x by itself, so we have to multiply both sides by 2 thirds. So 
we have x is equal to pi over 3 pi and 5 pi over 3. So we're going to combine these answers along with these to get the answer to the original question.